Now, the first thing you want to do is set the battery uh, in the configuration you want. You have to figure out um, how everything's going to connect. So um, I can see right now here, I'm really focused on getting the batteries um, exactly the way I want. So for my 12S2P, it means 12 um, cells in series and two cells in parallel. So in order to do this, I need to have um, all of the pairs of the cells uh, forming a 12 in series. So that's why I have um, each pair. Um, that's going to connect uh, from top to bottom, bottom to up, top to bottom, bottom to up, uh, and so on. And if you don't understand this, um, watch the latter part of this video, which will actually show you uh, how I did it. So once you got the setup, I'm going to actually divide it in half um, since I have to um, make these battery cells and then later on I'll reassemble uh, it with a full part. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, each of these batteries and I'm going to go ahead and um, use a heat gun um, to put them together. All right, go, go ahead and just hold the batteries, uh, make sure they're even, and then apply the heat gun. All right, you don't need to use a ruler or anything. I mean, you can do it with hand. Um, just make sure they're straight and hold on to it until the glue dries. All right, once the six cells have been glued on, um, carefully turn it to the other side and also glue the other side because uh, with hot glue on one side, it might fall apart. I do that for the other uh, six of the cells, obviously. Next, I use a uh, Kapton taped um, to tape it again. So the hot glue, even if it comes off, it will uh, keep the form. I do highly recommend using the Kapton tape. Do that for the other set of uh, six batteries. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and put these um, two packs, a little mini packs, and I'm going to go ahead and tape them up uh, and then also hot glue them to keep them together. All right, so I built the first half of the battery and I make sure to hot glue the top spots. Um, just a little bit of dab will do and this will hold the battery together pretty good. All right, when that's done, I've got a fully uh, made half of the battery. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the same thing for the rest of the batteries. All right, hot glue them, apply the capped on tape, apply the capped on tape, and more hot glue. And now you should have two sets of batteries. Now go ahead and align it. Each pair from the top half of the battery um, should be the opposite. So you can see here, starting on the top left, it's a minus minus to plus plus. All right, and then it's plus plus to minus minus and so on. All right, go ahead and mark down all the pluses and minuses of the battery pairs, all right, on top of it. And you're gonna know exactly where the plus and minuses are so you don't actually short circuit. Uh, I did that one time and almost caused a fire, so this is very important. And next, you're gonna go ahead and uh, number all of these batteries. So the bottom left pair is going to be the first battery, uh, starting with the minus, and it's gonna end with the 12th battery with positive. The first battery, negative, and the last battery, 12th battery, positive, are the main terminals. And you will not wanna solder anything there. Um, so go ahead and mark down, you can see, it's going from uh, one, two, three, four, and it's sort of going in a um, round robin, uh, sort of a square wave fashion. All right, do that for all the batteries. You know the number of each cell. Again, the battery starts with the negative terminal, that's battery number one, and then whatever follows series, it's gonna become two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on, until you reach your last battery. For this next particular step, you'll need a spot welder and um, nickel strips. Um, this will allow you to um, weld the points of the battery and also help them keep them together. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out uh, pieces so they'll match the length of the terminals. And I'm gonna cut out a bunch of them before I start spot welding it. I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, the first half of the battery and I'm just gonna simply uh, spot weld the top two pairs or the, the all the pairs and once all of the pairs have been spot welded I'm gonna go ahead and um, put tape 
over uh, the uh, battery number one terminal and also battery number 12 um, terminal because I don't want to solder anything there by accident. So I put the blue uh, painter tape there. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, spot weld the other side of the other pair, the second half of the batteries. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, also um, spot weld uh, the first half battery, which I forgot to do. So I'm going to go ahead and spot weld those. So by now, all the batteries should be uh, welded, spot welded uh, where the pairs are, except for the first battery negative and the last battery positive. Next, I'm going to go ahead and see how these pairs going to line up. And I'm going to go ahead and find the pairs um, where the where the pairs of the minus connect to the uh, pairs of the plus. And I'm going to go ahead and apply another um, nickel strip to connect uh, these pairs in series. I just really work through and think about um, how the electricity will flow before you do this and double check your work and then go ahead and spot weld it. And you'll see on the bottom of these pairs will form a square. I'm going to go ahead and connect the top pair to the bottom pair, to the negative, to the plus, to the plus, to the negative. And I'm also going to leave a little bit of extra uh, nickel strip. So later after I fold the battery, I'll have a point where I can actually connect um, the positive and negative terminals. So once I spot weld all that, you should have a total of six uh, extra points that come out. I'm going to go ahead and use some uh, insulating battery uh, insulating tape just to have something in between and then I'm going to fold them. All right. Um, next, I'm going to hot glue um, some of the points so the battery doesn't come apart. All right. Once hot glued, you should have uh, six um, metal strips sticking out, which you'll be able to later connect solder to your BMS, your battery management system. Next, I'm going to finally um, connect a nickel strip to the uh, minus of the first battery. I'm also leaving a little bit of room so I can uh, solder uh, my battery wires. And I'm also going to do that for the 12th battery, the positive terminal. Next, I'm going to finally connect the uh, negative pairs and the positive pairs all right, on top and bottom of the battery pack. All right, this will connect uh, all of the pairs in series. Also, I'm going to go ahead and add an extra strip so um, I can go ahead and uh, access the actual terminals later from the top. And once that's done, I'm going to again put some insulating battery uh, adhesive tape over it. And when you're done, you should have all of the positive terminals of all of the pairs coming out plus the negative pair uh, of the first battery. And you want all of the terminals coming from the one side of the battery so it's easier to access. All right, when I first built my first battery, I had uh, half the terminals coming out from the other side, so I have wires going all over the place. But this way, um, you can access all the terminals. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put Capcom tape all over it um, because I don't wanna actually touch it and short it out. This battery pack uh, fully charges 50 volts uh, with 90 amps uh, of power, which is uh, probably enough to kill a human being. So make sure you tape up everything with capped on tape and later we'll slowly remove one by one when we solder the battery wires to BMS. This will keep everything safe. Um, you won't actually short your battery, kill yourself, etc, etc. Now I'll also use some extra capped on tape uh, to, to really hold the battery pack in place vertically. The hot glue worked pretty well, but I'm going to put additional capped on tape to keep it more secure. And later we will also heat shrink everything to keep everything more secure. But that's end of part one. This is just showing you how to set up uh, the batteries, um, spot welding. We're all ready to go. Uh, we just need to connect and, and solder the BMS, the battery management system to the battery pack. That'll be part two. And if you want to see part two, make sure to subscribe. I'll hit the thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next one.